Hello guys and welcome to Lodge Massacre 2. This game is crap. Or at least of what I've played of it. I've played through a good amount of it and I was lost for so long in so many of the parts that I'm just gonna play through it again. And there will be a certain point where I not know what I'm doing and I'm probably gonna have to look about walk through because everything just makes no sense. It's like they're hints at it, but it doesn't just, I'm just gonna play it and then you can watch. Just just watch. The call came from the St. Clair camp. Something horrible happened. You could not tell somebody got murdered in a brutal way because I am sleeping on the job while driving. Just by how the girl sounded. Sorry, I did there. She was scared to death. Or maybe she was dead. Random scary pictures on the screen for some reason. I don't know. Yeah, we get it. She's scary. Do you use this in the last game? Are you still closing up? Um. It didn't close up this much last time. I think it glitched. Um. Okay. Apparently I had to skip the skip button. And I know everything that's gonna happen, so none of that's gonna come as a shock to me. Yeah, remember this part? It just lives the back room, right? No, it comes in back in later. And without knowing that, there's like no way to find it. Die. And I can't run yet, so I have to slowly walk. Bum bum bum. Ugh, this is boring. Oh, yeah, now I can run. Run like the devil. Ah. Or maybe I am the devil. Bum, bum, bum. Uh. I was starting off well in the last one, but uh, it's really degraded into really bad comedy because I was freaking bored. Really? Okay, we don't have to go in there yet. As you walk into the creepy room, you may notice that there are bullets to you, all right, and a really annoying um, tape player thing radio to your left, and you know what to do. Shoot the son of a bitch, walk away as a creepy dog tries to kill you, duck, and then let him hit the wall, and then there will be a key in this place. This isn't the bad part yet, by the way. This is this is still the good part, but just it's, it's all right. And then it's about, I don't know, around here or something that things go to, like, from just kind of like, eh, not that bad, to what the crap am I playing? And what the hell am I supposed to do? I'll tell you when it gets to that point. Also, it really just, this game just reuses everything from the last game and just makes it more annoying. I mean, the last game was no masterpiece, but compared to this it is. This was annoying. I don't respect God. I don't give a crap. Door stuck. Oh no! Whoop. Back up. Back up. Back up. Die. I had to move slightly to the side. I never really got that far. I think it's supposed to be a cheap jump scare. Yeah, I don't have to go in there yet either. I never really got the timing for that part either. I've only played through it once, and what I have played. Literally, there were. I, I played the game for about an hour. And like. 40 of those minutes, I was just lost. And here comes a really annoying part. Let me go, let's see. Let's see if I can handle it a different way. Yep, yep. And I have no idea how the hell this works. I tried just shooting him when he's in the air. Like, let's see. Try to get the timing on. That should... No, it's not going to be good. There's the annoying part of the story. Okay, now he's dead. Yeah, if you don't kill him, like say you run out of bullets, you have to deal with him for the entire game. And you can run past him, but for some reason it slows you... Hello? Can... Was I not supposed to come here yet? And I can't pick up the batteries? 
I'll try going in here and then leaving. Whatever, I can get water in here. But I need the batteries, too. Can I not pick up the batteries until I find out what I need them for? Which was in that room? Oh, yeah, okay. That, that, that's, that, that's, that's, that's just perfect. Okay, just fast forward. Or edit. And we're back at Kevin B. Where I still don't give a crap. Uh, this game was really annoying. I know it's already taken away, at least the, the little atmosphere there was. And this is where we go here. Talk about this. There's a emerging lamp. Needs batteries. Now I can go pick up the batteries. Which makes no sense. Why couldn't I... Just, screw you. You can't see it when I'm flipping them off. Fuck you. That made absolutely no sense. Like, you can't do anything until you read about it? What the, f what the crap? That, makes, that forces you to read everything. And you can't just look and walk through and just whiz by a part. You, even if you're doing it over again. Like, this is the part we need the water for. And we get a crap. Stuff happens there. Night prayer. All zeros. Who gives a shit? Maybe uh, since I did the meal of the god thing or whatever it was, I can do that now. I don't know. But whatever it is here. Um, yeah, this part's really stupid. You go in here, pick up bullets. I don't know if it'll work yet, but if you stand here, maybe not here, really, but somewhere right there. Well, and now we wait. Okay, nothing. Okay, I still gotta wait for later, I guess. I don't know. I'm not even gonna fast forward the part. Screw this. I'm not gonna do that much editing. Well, maybe I should do some more editing. I don't know. I'll look at it afterwards. Actually, let's leave it up to the jury. Jury says about editing. I agree. I don't know what that answer is. Probably nope. A big, large nope. Gummy bears jumping here and there and in your face. I watched the Nostalgia Critic recently. He is funny. And I like that he came back. I came back. If you don't know about the Nostalgia Critic, yeah, now I can pick this crap up. You know, screw talking about the Nostalgia Critic. It's probably offensive to talk about this crappy game. I know I'm reacting a little harsh to this game, but screw it. I've been playing this game for about an hour and a half, and most of it I've been lost. I think it's about praise, all the praise and crap. And here's the bottom line. Now I can pick it up. Does it make any sense? Why I couldn't pick it up earlier? Nope, but neither does this game, so fuck you. Going up the stairs. Yeah, literally, they did not change anything from the last game. Like, everything is reused. I'm pretty sure that the mountains seem to repeat themselves. Hmm. And, that's it, they just rehashed the last game. It's like a crappy mod for it. And now we get the first shining skull eye thingy. Oh, wait. Spoiler! That's what's going to happen. Going to here. And look at the pretty birdie was making that noise. I don't get it. I think I gotta read this. Eh, I read it. Good. Oh yeah, I need the key. So I gotta leave. Then I gotta go and I gotta get it and then I gotta die and then I gotta do shit and then I gotta give crab and then I gotta do die, whatever. I think that was a reference to the rapper song, some crappy rapper or whatever. And like the one person who comes with probably likes that rapper. And now they hate me. <sighs> well, I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough so far, because this is pretty much what it's going to be. Okay, I think if I stop here... You know what? Crap, I'm just going to do what I know I can do. Put it fire. Ah, now I remember what I can do. Put it the fire. And what's in there? A small key. Let us go to save the birdie bard. How that will, you know, lift the curse? I don't know. Quite frankly, I don't care. And as we see, the ghost Indian doesn't like that I'm running. I don't know what that's... Ghost Indian, what would that be like? I don't give a shit. Oh, fuck you. 
And now I can let him go. I'll let the bird free. And skull shiny thingy happens on the screen. And then, and only then, did no one give a crap. No, I didn't notice that shower before. Just don't give a crap. Did I go in here last time? Yeah, I remember that was now. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I'm not gonna have to do much editing this because it's just me running back and forth. Because that's what this game is. I don't want to ruin the amazing atmosphere of this game. You cannot see it, but my middle finger is back out. And it's away again. And here comes the stupidest part so far. Yep, you were supposed to figure that out on your own. Uh, that's all I gotta say. That is all I gotta say. It, and I think if I go back here. Oh, by the way, if you run across you know, that area with a knife saw and you're gonna run across, all it says over there is static, stay static. Let's see if it works. Maybe you have to read some other book for it to work. I don't know. Nope. See? And it's like done at such a weird time that you don't know. Oh, yeah. Everything slips down. Ah. <laughs> yep, that happened. Moving on. Running here and there. Trying to stop demons from taking over the world. I still don't give a crap. Oh, look at there. They're all written up. There's a key in here. Yeah, I couldn't have just moved this crap out of the way and got the key. No, I had to do a demonic ritual. Oh, and this guy's back, by the way. Because we all loved him. Even though he doesn't really know how to hold a knife. I never realized that before. He doesn't really know how to hold a knife, does he? Oh. Hello. Holy shit. What do they do to the partner? Oh. Uh, oh crap, I didn't need those bolts. Oh, that's for the guy from the last game. Oh, that's kind of cool. But I thought I burned down the house or something like that. No oh, good here. No, 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 no. I don't know what that was. Um. Is he walking toward me? Yeah, there's a static say static sign. Oh crap. Yep. He 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 stabbed me. Ah. There's like flying heads in the background. I click at you, I click at you. It's probably gonna give me like some sort of revelation of what I gotta do to him. This is the part I haven't been to yet. Oops. Oh my gosh, what am I supposed to do? Gave me like another. Get him, my bullets can't hurt him. Maybe I gotta like run past him or something? No. Uh, he does a crappy stabby motion. Or something? Maybe I gotta do a headshot. Just checking if like it would knock down the knives or something. Oh, 
Okay, you'll be right back after I figure out what to do. Okay, I may have looked up the answer, but I know what to do now. This is one of those, what the hell, moments of the game. Where it's like, it kind of, how is it really? Okay. skip through and see things that I think are the answer. I think maybe if I time it right, I can just kill him, but... No, move on! That was fucking stupid. This is just bull. It's not an action game. Why are you trying to make it an action game? Dumbass, you fucking dumbass. So fucking stupid. Okay, stand here. Maybe if I stand at the pole next time, I'll be able to get it. I don't give a shit. No. Look up. Shoot. Maybe it'll work now. Okay, that's too far. Yay! You're dead. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I'm just happy to be close to ending this game. Ugh, it's only 17 minutes for you, but it's, for me, it's been... I'm just gonna say a fucking long time, because I don't know how long it's been now. Just add 17 minutes to what I said earlier. And I'm jump scared, that's gonna be an annoying... Oh, no! Hello, priest guy. Am I supposed to still have bullets? Please tell me I didn't just screw myself over by having mega bullets. Do I have to play this crap all over again? Please don't make me do that. Is this gonna be it? Just rocks coming in my general direction? Maybe I can get more bullets or something. That's probably it. I feel like I have to shoot the priest. Yeah, because you know, it's like silent the devil or whatever it said earlier. Not that I give a crap. Yo, partner. Bullets. Bullets. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Well, back to the walkthrough. Okay, we're back. I had to play the game over again, and guess what? I found a glitch. Uh, remember that room with the bathroom? Uh, yeah, if you leave before that curtain moves, you have to do it all over again. So I had to really strategic my clip. I just want to get this game over with. I beat that guy. I'm here now. All I have to do is shoot this son of a bitch. But, since I didn't go perfectly perfectly with my bullets last time, I have to do it again. Die, bitch. Thank you. Fade out. Mass murderer dead. Maniac shot after taking nine lives in satanic ritual at Camp St. Clair. The man known as John Kemp was in charge of the young woman camp. Oh, it was a young woman camp? I don't know that. 
I was not able to sleep for a week. The horrors from that night haunted me every minute, but I'm glad I left that behind. It's time to move on, but something tells me you're gonna be dead because, you know, whatever, shock out ending or whatever. Give a shit. Yep, knew it. Oh, it's that woman from the start, which is, I think is supposed to be creepy. Oh good, someone actually wanted their name on this game. This game blowed. It was just so badly designed, like, other than, other than design, everything was fine, but the design, the design was so bad. That, like, I don't even know how to explain how bad it is. Like, just... I'm I'm random cat. Put the lights of and come back for the next episode. Bye. Unless there's more. Is there more? Nope. Bye.